Okay, so hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about snug packs range and dry bags. Stick with me. Okay, so welcome back everyone. As in the intro, I'm going to talk to you about the dry sacks available from Snook Pack. Uh, so if you order one, this is what they'll sort of come in, this sort of hard plastic uh, packaging and tells you exactly which one you've purchased. So this is the 4 litre one, which is the smallest version they do. And luckily enough for me, they've got all the sizes available and dimensions just on here. Can you see them? Yep, yeah, so there you are. Right, I'll just bring you back out. Uh, okay, and we'll go through these uh, different size dry bags and dimensions now. Uh, so the small, which is this one, uh, is 4 litre. It's 9.5 inch by 14 inch, or 24 by 36 centimetres and weighs 1.76 ounces or 50 grams uh, the medium which is 8 litres uh, is 6.75 inch by 17.25 inch and that's 17 by 44 centimetre and the weight is 2.29 ounces or 65 grams next one up is large which is 13 litres it's 8, 8.5 inch by 19 inch or 22 by 48 centimetres uh, which is weighing 3 ounce and 85 grams and then extra large which is 20 litres 9.75 inch by 21 inches uh, 25 by 53 centimetres 3.7 ounce and 105 grams and then the extra extra large which is 35 litres which I've not brought with me today I don't think um, is 11.75 I've not brought one of them with me anyway uh, sorry, yeah, so the extra, extra large is 35 litres and 11.75 inch by 25 inch and then 30 by 64 centimetres and the weight is 4.59 ounce or 130 grams. Right, let's look at each one individually. So obviously because I've got the small in my hand, we'll look at that. So yeah, I've opened up the pack and literally all you get in there is the dry bag itself. Nice and neatly folded. Okay, we've... Uh, like a webbing roll top okay and then obviously the S stands for small which is what this is we've discussed okay inside the webbing roll top there is like a little flexible plastic um, band which you could do sort of normally find in dry bags okay but what we'll do is we'll have a look at what the label says here so it says 100% 70 denier nylon with TPU film backing, uh, made in Taiwan, and then the batch number. Daddy, Sorry, my kids are here and they're uh, keeping interrupted. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll look on the inside now of the dry bag. So you can see that they're stitched and seam taped. And I'm presuming this is going to be identical for each one. But yeah, four litres, and it's more than ample. Uh, these actually are perfect liners for if anybody's got them it's the the wee sport raccoon pockets which i've attached to my snug pack endurance um i might nip over and get one in a minute but yeah the perfect liners for that size pocket yeah so as i can as i said before you got the plastic flexible trap there and then roll it down until there and then obviously bend around snap in perfect and then obviously you've got a couple of deer rings as well which is perfect so you can hang this on the outside of a pack or hang something else onto this so yeah that's the small the snug pack logo there is in grey because it's a black bag so it stands out really really well but yeah that's the small dry bag but moving on and uh, this is da -da -da -da. Oh, it's the medium oh the medium the medium one uh, I've shown you before <laughs> Hi mate. There's a dog. Yeah, so the medium dry bag currently has my uh, snug pack all over G2 in there. Um because I didn't have a small one. Small one's more than adequate. You can see there's a lot of room left in this. So we'll just go through this one. Uh, again, this is uh, what is it? 8 litre capacity and dimensions are 6.75 by 17.25 inches and 2.29 ounce grams. Yeah, so, yeah, perfect again, so medium, so 4 litres, 8 litres, and then we're moving up, so obviously you've seen black, 
Uh, the next colour that you're going to see is the tan, and this is the large drive bag which is com comprised to 13 litres. So, yeah, the large drive bag in tan again. Uh, I'll just show you quickly the inside, uh, made from 100% 70% 100% 70 denier nylon. Dad, yeah, I've seen my belly again. Yeah, so on the inside of the bag it says 100% 70 denier nylon with TPU uh, film backing made in Taiwan and the back number just there. All the seams are taped over again and as, as I said with a small one probably going to be the same throughout so I won't do that just again. But yeah, that's the medium one uh, and then, sorry that was a large one. Next up is the extra large which equates to 20 litres I'll lay all these out in a second so you can see the differences yeah this is 20 litre um, almost big enough for a, a pack liner just a little bit too narrow I believe but yeah this one's olive you've not seen the olive colour either and the logo on this is in black yeah 20 litres all the same with the flexible plastic loop in the top okay but the last one slightly different to the rest this is the 40 litre valved drive bag from Smugpack so this isn't my pack liner uh, but yeah identical in every other way apart from the valve at the front which is great for making air escape right I'll lay them all out now Okay, so I laid them out for you now on the grass. So from left to right, this is the um, valved dry bag, 40 litre capacity on this side on the left. Next one in is the 20 litre in olive as well. And then 13 litre here in tan or coyote. And then inside there, this, as I said before, is the snug bag or whatever shot a G2. That's the um, 8 litre capacity dry bag. And then right on the end there is the 4 litre capacity drive bag. Just to show you, now I have emptied my medium drive bag and put my tarp in my small one. Looks a lot neater, doesn't it? Right. See you in a minute. So yeah, I'm not going to teach you how to uh, suck eggs. You know all know what dry bags are for. But just some uh, basic ideas of what I do. So obviously my tarp lives in normally small dry bags. Uh, currently in a medium one, which is why I've gone and bought another small. Um, but yeah, uh, sleeping bags, food, uh, that sort of thing can all live inside dry bags and it just makes gives you an extra layer of protection against uh, dampness and rain and everything else like that. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the description box below. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about all these products. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I shall see you in the next one.